Hello Capricorn, Sun, Moon and Rising and welcome. We are calling in the beautiful angelic beings of love and light to help you walk through that very last week of the month and roll right into January of next year because this is going to be an amazing time frame for a lot of people, especially those who have been working on making changes in your life working on improvement, self-improvement, your health, and so forth, careers, whatever it is that you've been working on, this is that moment. So before we begin, I ask you to invite your own guardian angels and guides and fill uh, your energy with love and light as we look at you, these beautiful messages. Okay, Capricorn. You know, I just feel like your heart is open. I'm seeing like uh, it's actually like a cartoon character with big batting eyes. Some of you might, you know, like flipping the eyes, flirting. I feel some of you might be ready for love right now. And that's a beautiful energy. It doesn't have to be romance. Um, I'm just saying she has big eyelashes, um, but it's like love. love. Maybe you love the holiday season itself. But it is heart. It's all about heart. It's about giving and, and putting everything you have into whatever it is that you're working on. Put your heart and soul into your work. So the message for sun, moon, and rising is, We watch over you every day, but yet somehow you forget that we're here. You believe that you have all the power with you and forget that we guide you through things. We help you when you're stuck. We push you when you can't move forward. We teach you through life lessons. We bring the right people to you, but yet you don't see that it's us and you believe that you brought them in. Sometimes the right people are not necessarily always good people. So all the situations that we go through in life, Capricorn, whether it's positive or negative, it's part of our own personal growth on a soul level, on a core level. And they're saying that you forget that these beautiful, beautiful energies are around all the time. You've been shown time and time again, but yet you still have doubt. Some of you are doubting that they even exist. You may even doubt if tarot readings or psychic mediums, uh, prophets, seers, if any of this is real. The doubt comes from the lack of knowledge and they're saying it's time for you to get uh, educated on on where you're going in your life, educated on spirituality overall in general. Not someone else's point of view, but your point of view. And we can't create a point of view if we don't understand all facets of what we're looking at. And here's the card. And see, I am 100% guided in these readings, just like I am in your private readings. Here's the Hierophant, and the Hierophant represents spirituality. This represents those beautiful beings of light and love. So it doesn't matter if you're religious or not. It's about being open to all concepts on all levels. You have amazing energy coming in for you, and a big, big change is on the way. Between now, as the Capricorn moon comes into play, because it's your season, uh, all the way through March 23rd, this is a beautiful time. If we are taking action, we can create things. We can get courage and strength and move into whole new levels of life. This is a narrow window, although it is a couple months. Normally, it's only a month for those moon phases, right? This one goes all the way into March. So that is four, four straight months, uh, four and a half, but four straight months of time frame for you uh, where you can... Uh, pick up and go, pick up and go. Okay, that's what I heard. Pick up and go. So it's time for you to uh, really make sure that you know what direction it is you want to go and move into. Now, for, for Capricorn moon sign, cry the tears of pain that you've been dealing with. There's something stuck like a splinter in your heart. And they want you to pull this out. They want you to pull the sword out because there is a new filling. Something new is going to come into your heart as soon as you do. You can't get anything new in there until that's gone. It's like, you know, if you have a splinter in your foot and you're walking, you can't walk right. Everything gets off balance. That's what happens when we close our heart. 
So this is that big, beautiful time for you to release. And that's what the energies are saying. And you want to do this. You want to work on doing this by the 18th of the 18th of January. And that's right around the time Capricorn season ends, right? Um, and it's right at the 20th, I think, or 21st. But Capricorn, this is a big step, a big leap, especially if, for those of you who are wanting to make a leap of faith when it comes to emotional attachments, to family, to romance, to friends, emotional attachments to human beings, to people, not necessarily a job. So that was specifically for the moon sign. And we have the card of strength and courage because it is going to take a lot of courage for you to do this. It is. Any of us, no matter what we're doing, it takes a lot of strength and courage for us to move forward and make big changes. Stepping into a new career is scary. Um, it's exciting, but yet there's always that, is this the right move? So allow that to be just one step and, and move right past that step. Allow your beautiful beings of love and light to help guide you through it. And if you need even more help, please look at my book, Microvibes. It's on Amazon by L.A. Gonzalez. Um, that is using the beautiful spiritual energy with the human to overcome situations like that. So I may find that very, very beneficial. Now, the courage and strength has been in you before. And I'm seeing like 10. This could be 10 years old. This could be 10 years ago where it was like taken away. I feel it was taken away by something or someone else. Uh, you know, this is somebody coming in and hurting you. You became a victim, uh, taking it away. This was a job you may have lost 10 years ago and it was your dream job. It was the career that you loved, that you lived for, or you may have retired 10 years ago and your whole world changed. So it's like this, this moment where you were just kind of taken aback and Capricorn, you're going to see past that. You, you may have altered your personality at that point in time when that came in and they're saying, no, don't do that. Don't do that. It's time for you to be you again. It's time for you to move forward. So Capricorn, we have for you the beautiful Knight of cups. And this is talking about emotions, dreamy energy. That is what's coming. And it's coming right uh, at the, right as we approach January. So if you haven't got the dream, if you haven't got the inspiration, if you don't know what direction you're going, Allow yourself to make sure there is no old wounding. Okay, this is what they're saying. I'm translating it here. And and then as you roll into to January 18th, right? They're going to show you as you roll into February, all of these new ideas, new inspiration. Everything is going to make sense. It's all going to make sense. So you may be seeing bits and pieces like hanging. And what they're showing me, um, well, you know, probably don't remember my old backdrop. But it's like a, a, a little starlight here, a starlight there, a starlight here, a starlight there. And they're all over the place. So it's like bits and pieces where here, here one star represents one idea, one spark. One star represents a dream that you're going to bring these down and you're going to make them work for you. Now, I see like five or six of them. So that could be in five or six different directions, or it could indicate five or six months from now, you're in a completely different trans, you're completely transformed. Your whole life is different. Wherever you live, you're in a new place. Whatever you do is completely different, but all of it is about you. Okay. And you're feeling better. You're more excited. You have abundance and you have prosperity around you. So it's quite lovely if you, for those of you who are ready to take that action and you know exactly what direction to go. We have the three of cups. This is joy. This is celebration. And that is three months from now. Yeah. So you can see where the guidance comes into me and the cards follow the messages. And that's what I do in your private readings as well which I will not be giving single session readings after the 31st. So please book yours now, um, even if you want it in February. So you guys, you just got this amazing opportunity and I feel you're going to see it in your dream state. Now it is in the future. All right. You, you may have seen a glimpse or two, like as a little star hits the ground, you know, like a falling star boop, and it fell and you, you grabbed it. Uh, but for a lot of you, it's getting ready to come in. 
I do see a lot of gatherings. So even if you're feeling lonely, if you feel alone, some of you may be going virtual and doing some virtual connections. You can check out my blog post on my website talking about the, the gatherings at the holidays, uh, alternatives, and you just some general ideas, a, a few of them that can help you out. Okay, they, they're very clear that this is a very clear and distinct message. They, they want me to pull out the uh, adversity. So right now, the first challenge is the Hierophant. Okay, the challenge is the openness to spirituality, the openness to believe that you hold the power of creating and changing your life in your mind. When you think of somebody and they reach out, that most likely has a lot to do with you. You were thinking of them, thinking of them, thinking of them. If you owe money and you know they're going to call and all of a sudden they do, you're like, I knew they were. There you go. So it's like we can create this or we can push it back. We can pull it forward. Openness to spirituality is a very, um, because it is so complex it's not once you learn it it's not it's it's just more like yeah it's natural however in the beginning stages it is very wow it's very awesome and i feel for a lot of you you have gained a lot of wisdom a lot of in intuitiveness about you to understand it but there's so much more to go so much more to, to see that means that with the combination of spirituality, you can create a brand new path. It could be an accounting, it could be an ar architect, it doesn't matter. It's a new path for you, okay? It, it doesn't mean that you do what I do. Um, it, it means that you walk in your true life and soul purpose. And that's what I feel is coming in for the sun, moon, and rising sign. But equally, that is going to be your biggest challenge, is opening up and allowing these beautiful uh, ideas and inspirations, the boom, 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 you're going to see it. And if you take each one and write it down, you may be able to piece your own life and soul purpose. So we have the Princess of Cups, and this is a challenge as well, opening up your heart. Okay, so opening up to spirituality, opening up your heart. And some of you may have been going through some really, really challenging times. You are about pentacles. You are all about feeling stable and secure. And when we have a lot of changes around us, we feel out of balance. And that may have been what you've been going through. It's been a difficult and a very, um, well, challenging but uh, eye-opening uh, time since 2020. It actually started a little before that, but it was highlighted in 2020. So this is all new. It's all new concepts of having to talk and say something on the phone and then you come back later and there it is, it's on your telly. You know, you have a little picture of something because we're connecting to each other in a big way. We're connecting through the energy, through the electricity, through the unseen elements in all levels. That's what we're doing. It affects our mind, our body, and our soul. So opening to all that can be quite challenging. Open up to the people that you love. You have an apology coming in with this beautiful page of pentacles. Now, this is you. If you have been working on a new career, and I feel you've been working on it five. Five is key. Oh, yeah, you had five over there. They're showing me five, like five years. You may have been working on getting a degree, a certification, or going into something different. The training, um, uh, the research, the investment. Like you may have had to pay out your education in pieces, okay, so that it was covered, like pay class by class. Five years of training is getting ready to come full, full front as we move into the new year for those of you who are ready, okay. Now, I'm going to pull one card for you guys, and this is uh, whatever they want you to know to help you overcome the challenges, stay focused in your life, and actually enjoy the holidays. We have the card of trust. Now that ties right into the open heart and that ties right into the open and spirituality Capricorn. So this is, the, that's my dog if you hear that noise. He has his own little bed back here. He sits in here with me. So this is trusting that the unseen is here to help you. Have faith in what you do not see. Have faith in what you don't understand because you're going to find out what it's all about. The more you learn, the more you'll understand and the more you can work with this new moon, the more you can work with all these different phases of the planetary shifts. 
and especially with your own intuitive abilities. Trust, okay? There is a big difference between hope and faith. Faith is trust. Trust that whatever you're asking for is in route to you as we are watching this video. So Capricorns, I wish each and every one of you to have an amazing holiday season. I send so many blessings to all of you. Much love and light.